Megan sued by Spotify for incompetence, all of million dollar deals to cancelled. Megan and Harry Spotify hopes on Brink after releasing just one episode, might be issue. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry might have an issue with Spotify, an expert as they have produced only one episode of their Archul Audio podcast series. Meghan and Harry this week pushed themselves yet further under the spotlight after releasing a statement condemning what they saw as inequity and racial bigotry in the media. They pledged support for a coalition of UK journalists who they said were working to bring attention to the issues at hand. This is in light of the Society of Editors receiving backlash after stating that no instances of racism or bigotry were present in reports on Meghan, something which many fervently rejected. Meghan and Harry's most recent move is just one in a string of advances made since they departed the UK and royal family. With their newfound private lives they have been able to secure lucrative contracts with some of the world's biggest companies, including Netflix and Spotify. They signed these contracts last year, yet have produced but a single episode of their Archul audio podcast for Spotify, and have only two film productions in the pipeline for Netflix. Marlene Koenig, a veteran royal expert, said that while it was not up to her to make a judgment on how Spotify felt about this, she suggested that the lack of content could prove to be a problem. She told Express.co.uk, They've got huge contracts with Netflix and Spotify. They're both big things. Megan's got some big names for the animated series. I don't know how these contracts work, what they contain, but I think it might be an issue with Spotify that they've done one episode. If you don't grow a regular listenership, that's what you need for a successful podcast. But I don't know, they obviously have a contract and Spotify doesn't seem to mind as far as we know. The one episode that Meghan and Harry did release generated widespread controversy. As it came to a close, Archie, who was 19 months old at the time, wished listeners a happy new year. Many reacted negatively to it on Twitter, arguing that the pair were invading their son's privacy. One user wrote, For two people who wanted privacy, I find it strange if they are now parading Archie too. Perhaps their idea of privacy is different from mine. Many of the replies were similar, although some commended the pair for finally achieving financial independence and including Archie in their work. Another user said, Mommy and Daddy already signed their deal and their podcast has been trending number one for over a week. Their productions, however, will be created by a team of video hacks and specialists signed up by their Archul Productions group, described by Meghan and Harry as promoting programming that informs, elevates, and inspires. While many have lingered on the fact that the pair have not created much content for the streaming giants, Simone Ferriani, professor of entrepreneurship at City, University of London and at the University of Bologna, said Netflix, at least, will be unbothered. He explained to Express.co.uk, to appreciate the strategic thinking behind the deal with Meghan and Harry you must look at it against the background of the Netflix's series, The Crown. This is no ordinary series, we are talking about one of the most successful titles ever in the history of Netflix, a series that has become globally so wildly popular to drive up subscriptions, according to some estimates, by 2 to 3 percent alone, we are talking about 5 to 6 million new members. Just consider the astounding ratings of Meghan and Harry's interview with Oprah Winfrey, a cultural sensation that sparked internet memes, averaging 17.1 million viewers in the US alone. This is a great example of the potential synergistic effect of the Meghan and Harry and the Crown brands. Of the Meghan and Harry.